Hello. Hello, and good morning. My name is John. And I'm Allie. And we're playing Code Romantic. This is part of our both extra live stream and my Steam cleaning series. This is a visual novel that Allie and I are going to be playing together. And I will be holding a baby throughout most of it, so I'll probably be distracted. So Allie's going to be driving. All right, and go. I just push Whoa. play. I don't know what that so means. So we don't know this game is. Pick these games out at random. But we do know it's pretty smart. Know. Pretty smart presents. Cold Romantic. Resident Cold Romantic. Ooh. So you're going to play the protagonist voice, okay, Allie? You Wait, go to the right at all to be in camera frame? See, your, see the frame down there? Yeah, I'm trying to stick. The no. keeper moves. Hello! Don't I have to move the microphone in that case? I can actually move the text with my Hello, wake up! Nina, baby, what are you up to? Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Mama, I want to know why you stare at this so much. I've been asking nicely, but it won't wake up. Oh yeah? Hold on a second. Let Mama put those rations away and we'll be right there. Actually, if you can use the controller, Ellie, you can get on the couch. Ellie? Hmm? Couch would probably be better. Then you won't have to be sitting on the floor. That would probably be preferable, yeah. Okay, hurry. Wake up. I'm poking you. Actually, can't you feel it? So you want to play with the hack slate? I, I did that one. Red button to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing Mina. I'm saying it to Kai. Or to the baby. Crap. <laughs> First thing is, you have to let the hack slate know who you are. I'm going to ask it to make you a new user. Then you're going to say your name. Got it? Got it! Hack slate, create a new user named... Nina! Wait a moment. It worked! Now what? Hackslate, tell me a story. Right, sorry honey, it can't do that yet. Wanna yeah. see what it can do? I'll tell you a story afterwards, okay? Okay. Touch that area of the screen, the big rectangle. Oh, now you have to use the mouse for that? Unfortunate. Great. All I have to do is touch the screen like that and it will sense, okay? I will. Mixed media. Yeah. There was a big shadow in that window. That's scary. Hmm. Mama, you're not paying attention. Sorry, let's try something with your radio. All right, it's ready. Hack slate, hack slate, open remote link. Huh? I can't remember what this word means. That's okay, I forgot what things mean sometimes i forget what things mean sometimes too mouse and, yeah, oh wow that's why ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. that's why i designed ma, this over ma, ma. here it's called a dictionary window when you touch something more information about it shows up there so you can easily remind yourself what something means can I try? Of course. Do the mouse a little bit. Touch some of these words and try it out. 
Oh, there's words. The story. The news radio station, very informative. History radio station, lots to learn. Classical. The classical radio station, very sophisticated. I get it now. Yay, nice job. Oh, the next part started. See the different colored sections? Why don't you try touching that? The red one. That's right, you can touch those sections to change them. You can choose the radio station by tapping, to, tapping it until we see the one we want. Then it'll run the code you've written and start playing. What's, What's code? code? Oh, that's yours, sorry. That's what you're looking at, honey. It's what we use to talk to machines. Technically, that's machine language, but go ahead. I thought machines are bad. They took daddy away. Machines are bad. I, yes, machines are bad. You heard me, heard it here first. But sometimes you have to understand things that are bad. If we can learn how they work, we can protect ourselves from them. The hack slate can't become dangerous. I promise. I didn't install a gun. Hmm. Okay. So go ahead. Change it to the station you want, then press the button to submit your choice. News. There's another shadow. Um, I don't know, Baldwin, if this is the Terminator world or not. It better be. And there better be programming in this game, because, like, the name of the game is Code Romantic. Um, so. ow. <laughs> there it was again. Do you hear something? This baby keeps attacking me. I hear my radio. Yeah, that must be it. Hey, baby girl, I'll show you one more thing. If you ever need to take a break while you're working, like a pause, just look up. Look up? Yeah, let your eyes wander up. It's kind of meta, and suddenly you might discover new options. Okay. okay, I'll try. Oh, sorry. Mama, did you know I read faster than everyone in the whole class? Do you? That's great. Yeah, and my teacher says that next week we're going to read this book about puppies. Uh-oh. Boopy. Get in, Spoopy. Don't make a sound, Mina. We're going to play qu the quiet game. Dun dun. Oh my goodness. No, not here. Not again. What is it? I'm scared. Shh. We're playing the quiet game. It's okay. There's something dangerous nearby. Mama got gruff. Hubris is knocking. Good point, Aldrin. But so far, it doesn't know we're here. It looks like a dragon. It's at where? Oh, aware. It's aware. We have to lure it away from us. Machines try to find us by heat signatures. That's why we cut the power to the neighborhood. We only have a few minutes before our body heats register. I need to set some kind of rea reaction elsewhere. Mama, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm mostly talking to myself, me dear. Scoot down under the table. Watch Mama for a minute. She's gonna kick some butt. When I set the power structure for the neighborhood, shut, set up the power structure, I made sure there was a way to distribute electrical power equally to each house. Took an extreme left turn, yeah, Bulba. If I change the hash code, all the power should go to the empty house down the road. Mama? Everything's gonna be fine, baby. Just watch your Mama code and cover your ears. Yes, it worked. Follow the fire, and I hope you burn with it. Monster. I hate machines. I hate them. Oh, baby, I love to hear you talk like that. I know, but we took care of it, didn't we? That was so scary. Yes, we have to protect ourselves. I'll blow up the windows and heat-proof the house exterior. Hey, I forgot. I got you something. It's a gun. 
There's this boy helping out at work. Here he is, posing as a soldier. Wow. Oh. Wow. His name is Leon. He's gonna be the love interest in five to 10 fast forwarded years. He lost his dad and his mom because of the machines. His dad and his mom? That's so sad. Now Leon, now Leon travels across America telling his story to encourage the us. The Americas. The Americas telling his story to encourage us to never give up, never surrender. So I bought one of his posters for you. See, we're not alone, though it sometimes seems that way. Nyam, 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 nyam. Is he brave? Oh, yes. Just like you, baby girl. And you, Mom, you're the bravest. I know, baby. We'll fight the dragons together, right? Right. We'll get them, baby. Together. Aw. Fifteen years later. I'm really worried about the food in that room. I'm sure they didn't. I mean. Chapter two. You're just really happy on my shoulders, aren't you, kiddo? And that's when the horrible, totally scary, and violent construction bot came crashing through the neighborhood. My heart was pounding wildly in my chest. We were doomed. I was too scared to even cry. Luckily, Mrs. Lovelace oh, knew Anna exactly Lovelace. how to save us. She remembered that the aware rely on heat sources. With a few lines of code, she overrode the power system in the old Sawyer lot and distracted it until it left. What do we learn from this story? We learned that it's very important to remember how to use variables, right? Right. Hey, are you even paying attention? I'm not. We're trying to, Miss Lovelace. Ah. Can't remember where the buttons are. But it's just so boring. I want to take apart your radio again. And I want to play with the alpha pistols. Aqua pistols. I want to play with the aqua pistols. I tried so hard to make it interesting that time. We'll do all that soon. This is really important. When I was little, things were different. I would play outside during the day and ride my bike to the park. One, One time. time, we even took a plane to a beach town. Planes are real? They used to be, but the point isn't the planes. The point is that it all changed. We have to be careful now. Even if some of this stuff is boring, you might need it one day. Just like me and my mom. I mean, Mrs. Nut Lovelace needed it in my school. Plus, your parents are paying me good rations for this. The best rations. Ba 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 ba. Okay, Miss Lovelace. Ba, 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 ba. I know, kiddo. It'd be sad if you starved because of some dumb variables. Yeah, but then can we go to the get? Can we have the aqua pistols back? It's a deal. We'll start with a refresher on semicolons. Semicolons. Semi, huh? Okay, less of a refresher and more of a complete reboot. You see that symbol with the dot and comma? It's a semicolon. When you write, you put a period at the end of a sentence. When you code, you put a semicolon at the end of a statement. Depending on the language. This is about punctuation? Machine punctuation. Because we need a way to tell the computer when to finish an action. Yes, kids and their water pistol. Aqua pistol. And machines refuse to understand if you don't use proper syntax or grammar. I want you to use the hack slate, change the code until all the statements are correct. Alternate future where Python is language non gross <laughs> Trust me on this. It sounds easy to remember, but it's also easy to forget. I got it. I got it. Semicolons. Put a semicolon in a statement and kill those robots. Let me at it. All right. You got to put those semicolons on, Allie, which I believe just calls you to click on those. Nope, not a bang. There's a semicolon. 
I don't think this is how real coding looks. What? See, that wasn't so hard, was it? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm so good at this. I'm gonna take your job soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Are we ever gonna be done? I feel like I've been sitting here forever. Ronan, you just got here. Don't worry, there's only a few more. All right, next up is Equal Sun. Your math teacher is going to be mad at me because this is a bit different than what she teaches. It's okay. I don't even like my math teacher. Same. Well then, in math, equal sign means that both sides are equal. And sometimes you add up the left side to fill in a blank on the right side. <laughs> in programming, it's almost the other way around. On the left side, we have a variable. It's kind of like a bucket that can hold anything of the same type. The word you see is the variable name. We want to set it to the value of whatever is on the right. Because variables can change during the program, oh. they are very flexible and oh. can work with lots of possibilities. <laughs> Baby, think this is a bit reductionist? Yeah, I know. Not bad for a bucket! So it's all about taking what's on the right and placing it on the left? Right. Everything in between the equal sign and the semicolon. Then the two sides will be equal to each other. But only after this statement is finished. Ah. Why don't you try to fix more punctuation? Fixing punctuation! I am willing to accept this challenge. Only if I get to throw in the face of my math teacher. I would rather you didn't do that. <laughs> Ronan, just ask, answer the claw problem. You are so cocky. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Got it. It wasn't even hard. See, learning is fun. Tell that to the math teacher. Any questions so far? What was university like? Huh? Why do you even want to know that? Mom says you're really smart. She sent you on a way to the place called University that I should go to. Oh, well, it was really fun. You learn neat things and you get to make new friends. There aren't that many universities still around though. What did you want to study there? Oh, I know. I want to be a farmer. Dad says he's tired of being a fence mender and the real money is in agriculture. I think he meant agriculture, Ronan. What the? I need to get more sleep. I'm seeing things. All right, let's move on to the next part. We're going to talk about some of the variable types. So first up is int integers, sometimes just int. This is a number that doesn't have a decimal place. Hmm, doesn't, does int. There's got to be a joke there. I love how the writers were like, there should be a joke here, but we can't think of it, so we'll just say there should be a joke here. Um, I don't know about you, but so far these coding lessons are making me hot. I don't know, Allie, what do you think? <laughs> Please don't try to be funny. Fine, anyways, an example of an integer would be the number 20. If it does have a fraction, we call it a float, like a floating decimal. Like a what? Um. Like if you have a number that has a fraction in it, think, think of fractions that float. And if you are setting a float variable, you'll need to put a little letter F next to the number. Don't give me that look. I don't make the rules. I just tell you about them. Let's see an F in chat. Next, you might see something like a Boolean or a bool. This is kind of like a light switch. It's either true or false. That one sounds like a skinny ghost. Now who's trying to be funny? I want you to try to match the types of variables I just told you about in these lines of code, okay? Hey, I want to do it. Go for it. I'll just rest my eyes for a bit. Ronan. I got to put on Yeah. 
I did it. Ronan, how was it? What? Watching my superior skills at work. Don't answer that, Ronan. There's no good outcome. You guys ready to have your snacks? I have some juice boxes left in the fridge. Oh no! Oh. Eek! Wait a second. Is that Headmaster Bogart? What's he doing here? Hold on a sec, kids. Let me get him, him in through the fences. Headmaster says, My goodness, I know I haven't shaved in a few days, but I didn't know I'd gotten that hideous. Chill out, kids. I'm one of the good guys. Sorry, we're just not used to visitors around here. You know this dude? Dude, huh? Ronan, Radhika, this is one of my professors from when I was in university. Really? Hey, did Miss Lovelace mess up her variables too? I gotta know. Of course. Wait, I did? We all do. She kept practicing until she was a variable expert. I've seen her take out 15 metalheads at once. Cool. My mom says you're not supposed to use words like M head, sir. Miss Lovelace, you've seen combat? Uh, hey, well, it was a training simulation. Yes, Miss Lovelace was my prodigy, the most talented in her year. But then she mysteriously dropped out of class. How very strange to find her back in her childhood home teaching the neighborhood troublemaker. You're a badass and you didn't tell us? Ronan, that's a bad word Did to you. swear? It even has the word bad in it. He's right, Ronan. Let's not tell your parents that you said that. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'd say I was that amazing. So, what brings you here? It's such a long way for you, isn't it? I've got a good reason. But hey, I've interrupted your lesson. Do you mind continuing? I'd like to see how your students do. Oh no, I'm not sure if I can handle the pressure. All right, you'll do just fine. Let's show the headmaster what we can do, okay? We have a special guest joining us, but we still have to do our work, right? Let's go over a couple more variable types. The last two we're gonna talk about relate to the alphabet. You do know the alphabet, right? Duh, I'm in the third grade. No offense was meant. Just making sure. If a variable is just one character by itself, it's called a char. If you want a word, phrase, or a sentence, you'll you want to use a string. Like a string of letters. Right, one more thing. There's some more punctuation. A character is enclosed with a single quotation mark. A string uses double quotation marks instead. And the, and the reason we do this is because without those marks, the computer will think that it's the name of a variable. And it'll get confused if it can't find something with that name. Miss Lovelace, I'm beginning to think that I'm much smarter than a computer. At least, I will be when I finish learning. Let's hope so. Ronan, do this one because I did the last. Fine. I've got the hard stuff around here. Oh my goodness, Allie, how are you gonna solve this one? Ah. Finished. Check it out, Mr. Professor Dude. Nice work, kiddo. What? So what'd you think? About what, little one? Can I make it in university? Oh my, you've certainly got some great skills, little lady. Do you learn how to kill machines in university, sir? You're learning to kill machines right now, young man. That's why Mina's working so hard to teach you. Never forget that what makes us different from them is the very code you are learning to write. A machine can be reprogrammed, but a human cannot. Lies. No matter how much they want to be our equals. They will never be able to change that about themselves. Wow, this seems a little prejudiced. The headmaster is also a member of the Human Defense Department unit. He's out there protecting you and your families every day. Whoa! Like Leon Morgenstern. You ever met Leon Morgenstern, sir? 
I heard he once talked down a rogue, ta rogue tank bot until it self-destructed. I heard he helped deliver a baby in Kansas. And he taught a village of Seattle refugees to build a radio attachment out of junk. That's so? Wonder who told you so much about Leon's various accomplishments? What? He's, um, very accomplished. And I happen to know a lot about his accomplishments, so why not tell them? My mom says Miss Lovelace hasn't ever met Leon Morgenstern, but if she did, she would die of embarrassment. Oh, Radhika, your mom. Let's just get back to the room, shall we? Let's talk about declaring variables. In all our lessons, the types of variable, the type of variable was in the same statement. But you can also leave that part out if you've already done it earlier. What do you mean earlier? The machine is reading the code from top to bottom. Earlier would be higher up. Just remember that the first time you mention a variable, you have to declare its type. Sometimes there are a couple other words in there that give more information, but we won't worry about them today. I'm ready, Miss Lovelace. I want to end this day with an aqua pistol fight, so I gotta get it all done. for string is just asking me to put the, set up the proper quotes for strings and characters to finish the report. But I assume it says class report. Nailed, Nailed it. it! Oh, you're talking again? No. Radhika, I don't know if that counts as foul language or not, but please try to restrain yourself. This is the final lesson of the day. Are you excited or what? No. What? Set myself up for that one. Seriously though, we're going to briefly talk about objects. An object is something that has several variables within it. In this case, we're going to look at your report cards. What? Why? Can I change Ratika's grades? No, it's just an exercise. Darn. I've made an object called student, and we'll be filling it in together. Hey Miss Lovelace, why does it say class here? Is that because we're in class right now? Um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Another thing you'll notice is there's new punctuation here. When you see a period or a, da, a period, it goes between the name of the object and the variable within that object. So you know the two are related. Give it a go. Now, can I also ruin her grades? Hey, I think you should focus on your own grades, Rohan. That must be your parents. Head on home, okay? But the radio and the aqua pistols. Next time. Bummer. At least it was a cool lesson today. And we met a real war hero. Nice to meet you too, little man. Miss Lovelace, my mom says that she'll bring over the payment rations next month. She says she's behind in her other payments. Does that make any sense to you? It makes sense, but it's not really okay. Well, just tell her I'll uh, drop by sometime. Okay, see you later. Good teacher, Mina. I don't think you came all this way just to observe my lesson. Of course I didn't. I came to recruit you. For the Human Defense Department? Sort of. We're opening a new branch of schooling. The Reprogrammer Academy. The HDD is highly publicizing it. 
get volunteers interested. This first class will be exclusive. So what's the goal exactly? Take our brightest programming students and train them to be an elite strikes force. If we don't have enough talented recruits, there's no way we're getting through the defense. Why is Leon on the recruitment poster? Why is he on every recruitment poster the HDD makes? He inspires people to put their lives on the line. Because he's That's for hot. Sure. Who knows? Maybe he'll even stop by one day. A chance to meet Leon Morgenstern. But don't die of embarrassment, okay? I need you alive. Ha! <laughs> I guess you know me too well. Well, I have to think about it. Mom's out of town right now. I don't want her to come back to an episode. Nina, this is a draft. What? Your performance will be instrumental in the next wave of attacks. You'll be put on the front lines of a mission to end the war once and for all. We'll be going to Silicon Valley? Silicon Valley? Yes. Yeah, I know yeah. that may be disturbing to you, given the situation with your father all those years ago. Hi. Sir, Hi. why me? I don't think I'm really up to this challenge. I'm out of practice, frankly. You're too humble. I think you know it. You were one of my best students at Central. I don't know why you left. And I expect it's something more than a desire to babysit kids. But you're being wasted here. Sir, we need you. Or we don't have a chance. The end of humanity is no longer hypothetical. The end of humanity? I mean, that can't really happen. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a situation where humanities do. Let's not find out the hard way. I'm sorry, but you can't refuse. Pack a bag, and let's be on our way. But the kids, and the house. Try getting the oh, for now. Oh, no. And mom won't know where I've gone. 